I hope you guys are doing well today. I'd like to talk about um, what happened yesterday and that will lead into my kind of kind of sermon for today. My sermon is called when the when life when life keeps going uh, no when the camera stop rolling and life keeps going it's called the game when the camera stop rolling when the cameras when life life keeps going when the cameras still rolling um i i was thinking about what happened yesterday and i was thinking about my reaction and i was thinking about um how things may seem to be an accident but god's going to use them uh, for his glory because when i when god gave me that word i was like yes this i'm talking about the word from yesterday's video if you haven't seen it watch it so when the lord gave me that prophetic word um i was like yes and and he said share this and i said okay so when i shared all that lovely prophetic word and the camera wouldn't um my the uh, mouse wouldn't go up to the camera to the end video button um i i started to panic you'll see you, you've heard me start to panic i'm like oh god what do i do do i sing do i um do i you know do i explain i'm having technical difficulties what do i do this has never happened before the camera's still rolling and i can't get up to the end button and because quite often when life doesn't go the way we wanted or the way we had planned we think we have to fill the space so a lot of times when life doesn't go the way we plan we either do two things we either make excuses or we fill the space with something else not realizing that that space may be some may be a place where god wants to do something so we're filling up space because um things didn't go right and i need oh my god we're live uh what do i do now like people are people are seeing me saying saying nothing and the lord is saying just don't try and fill the space let it be what it is like let the space in your life be what it is let the interruption in your life be what it is and if people uh turn it off because there's nothing happening or if people turn you off um because there's nothing happening in your life let them like if people won't give you space to grow and, and you feel like you have to put on perfection for people it's not like the lord says you don't have to let it be what it is if they want to laugh at you if they want to make fun of you and if they want to reject you let it be what it is because god is working god is working in the pauses god is working in the in the uncertainties of life god is working in the places that don't look so pretty and the other thing we tend to do rather than other than fill spaces is panic oh i was so panicky yesterday guys to tell you the truth because here i was i given the 
this wonderful prophetic word and it had and now uh, the mouse wouldn't m move up to the end tab so I was panicking I was, I was like oh my god I'm live what do I do and I began to sweat I began to sing I began to not sing but I began to lose my mind I'm like I'm alive and I'm not saying anything so he's like don't panic when things go down he, he says in your life right now don't panic because of COVID because of job loss because of whatever don't panic he said prepare and praise he, he said to me the next time that happens Rachel if there be a next time um just tell a story or or ask me for wisdom don't panic I'm doing something in this and he would say to you um today I'm doing something with it in this COVID season I'm doing something with your life I'm doing something with the space that is created he's like don't panic P prepare and he said praise and so instead of panicking yesterday what I should have done was went into praise was went into knowing that God is good but when you're in that moment you kind of forget everything you know and just go into Oh my gosh, what do I do? Not understanding that God's the God of that moment as well. God's the God of the pause as well. God's the God of the pause. And God's the God of the problem. He doesn't cause your problem, but he's the God of your problem. And he will use your problem for his glory. So, because God is the God of the pause and God is the God of the, the problem, we just have to know that whatever season we find ourselves in, whether we're at a, on a live video or whatever we're doing, that God's the God of it all. And I know it's hard to to trust him when you can't trace him but beloved this is making you this is developing in you the characters characteristics that God wants for you so the other thing we do we we we, we panic we we'll, we pause, we stress, and the other thing we do is we we kind of barter with God. We're like, okay, God, if you do this for me, if you get this video to work, I will give the computer a break. I will do whatever you need me to do if you get this mouse to work um, and sometimes we're like okay God if you get me this job I will do this but what we don't understand is even if things don't work out the way we plan his plan is higher than our plan he knows better and it's hard when we have I've been through this because we we think that oh my gosh we don't we don't really know what to do and we think our plan was the ultimate one but God always has and has a better plan than we could ever have imagined and we've got to understand that everything 
goes through the hands of God. Not everything is caused by God, but God is working everything together for our good. And so, so, um, don't panic in the pauses or the problems. Just understand that God is taking you towards the promise. Don't panic in the problems. Just know that in those things, God is taking you towards the promise. And the blessing that will come out of that experience will far exceed what you said in your little mind um, that was the purpose for that thing. So, in other words, I believe that video, th those mistakes that um, I thought were mistakes, I believe that God is going to use them um, for his glory. Because sometimes in our mistakes, that was the real message. In our mistakes, in our misgivings, is the real message that God wants to convey. I sincerely believe that the real message of yesterday's video was not the prophetic word. Although that was amazing how God spoke through me yesterday. But I believe... I, I sincerely believe that yesterday's video taught me um, about the mistakes of God's sovereignty and that he would get the video up because he knew how important that was for him to get that prophetic word out. And he knew that those who saw it what wouldn't pay attention to the pauses and they would pay attention to uh, the words and, and maybe what I did in the pauses. I remember when near the end of the video I said nothing. I began to pr make a proclamation. Um, I said that nothing will stop this video from getting up or something like that. No technology glitch or everything that is working against me is coming to alignment now. And all of a sudden, uh, God, God caused me to remember something, to speak uh, something, something. I spoke end video and it clicked the end button for me and the video was able I was able to go into view post and the video was able to to come on this the uh, Facebook screen so that taught me that when you use the name of Jesus, no devil in hell will stop you. If it is the plan of Jesus, no devil in hell can stop it. Everything can conspire against it, but no devil in hell can stop it. That's what that taught me. So whatever issue you're going through, speak the name of Jesus over it. Speak the name of Jesus over it. Say, this, is, I know this is the plan of God. I know what God said. And if he said it, I believe it. And that's not, a, and that's not just a song lyric. That's not just a saying. That's the truth. Because I, I proved it yesterday because I said, it, it, Every technology um, standing in my way has to bow to the name of Jesus or something like that. 
I said every technology that is conspiring against me has to be subject to the name of Jesus. Everything right now in your life that is conspiring to keep the purpose of God away doesn't have any power unless you give it power. The only person and the only thing that can thwart God's power in your life is you. Your words, your actions. God has all power, but he's also given us free, free will. So, um, he will never um, take his will over what we what we deem necessary because he gives us free will. So if he sets something in motion, the only thing that could stop it is our mouth. So if we speak, oh no, that this isn't happening. If we speak in fear, that will stop it because you see what you believe. Like they say, um, seeing is believing. No. Believing is seeing. If you believe it, then you will see it. That's how the kingdom works. Um, belief is a very pow powerful thing. If you believe it, then you will see it. And if you're not there yet, be real with God to say, I want to believe it, but I'm so not there yet. Lord, help me get there. And he will give you the tools. He will give you the people. He will give you everything you need to get to the stage of belief that will activate your destiny. Thank you, Lord, for your word today. Thank you, Lord, for being with me. Thank you, Lord, for using the quote-unquote mistake of yesterday for your glory for this video and I declare that this message will go down into the marrow of um, the people hearing it today and it will sprout seed and the seed will grow and the and your people your, your lovely people will will be activated by your word, Father. Thank you for using me as a humble vessel. God, I, I love you and I give you praise. In the name of Jesus, amen. So, bye guys. I will see you soon. Take care. If, if you said it, we believe it. Cause you're a man of your word. If you said it, we believe it. It's amazing how God can use your mistakes for a message. If yesterday hadn't happened, the end of yesterday's video, this message, who I which I believe will transform lives, won't would it be happening? I thought yesterday's prophetic word would be the purpose, but I I'm thinking now that what happened after the word was given will be was the point of yesterday's video sometimes when we start something we we don't clearly see the point until we're in it or it's over and or sometimes we see the point of something as one thing but it's really another i thought the point of yesterday's video was a prophetic word but it turns out that an even bigger point was 
yesterday's message how God uses the imperfect things to teach us things. And, and he said one other thing to me. He said, um, some of you have got the camera on for too long. You've got people watching you. You document everything. You Instagram everything. You Facebook everything. You, you, you tell everything. He's saying, stop the camera. He's saying, stop the camera. Look inside yourself. Not everybody needs to know what you're going through. There are certain things that God wants to work on with you, but you're too busy on Instagram and Facebook and all of that to even see what he's doing in your life. You're too busy texting your so-called friends um, who don't mean you any good anyway to really see the kind of person you are. You're too busy trying this, trying that, asking this, asking that opinion. What did I do with this? What did I do with that? Listen to me, beloved. God has all wisdom. Jesus says he, he gives wisdom liberally to those who ask. He gives wisdom liberally. But you can't get his liberal wisdom if you're too busy to hear what he's saying. You've got the camera on too long. And that persona that you're showing up to the world is not really you. And you've been doing it for so long. You've been doing this perfect girl, perfect smile, perfect thing for so long that you've forgotten who you are. And the only way to remember who you are is to go back to the one who created you and, and deal with yourself. And and deal with the with the fact that you were molested when you were 15 you have to deal with yourself and we've we live in a society of just performance and performance and performance and the lord is saying stop perfor stop performing start preparing for your destiny for what he has for you. You're saying, what's my purpose? What is this? What is that? You haven't really stopped to listen. So, so many of you, he's saying right now, keep asking people for, uh, what do I do this? Do you think I should be this? Do you think I should go to school for this? Beloved, they don't know. The only one who knows is the Lord. Jesus Christ and he's longing to tell you he's dying to tell you but you won't stop you won't you won't turn the camera off to listen do you think the only the reason why you won't stop to listen is because you're afraid of what he'll say you're afraid he'll say you're nothing you're afraid he'll say um, there's some other girl better than you for this job or for him or for, um, you know, for this position or for this ministry. You can't be afraid of that. He's created you to do something great. And don't be afraid to listen. And not only listen, but confront what he's telling you. If he's telling you you need to get rid of that bad attitude, then you need to get rid of that bad attitude and he will show you how to do it. But you need to stop and be quiet. Um, the, 
the Lord has asked me to give you an assignment. Um, there is, for, this is not for everybody. Um, but this is for one or two people that, it, that are listening to me right now. If what I said spoke to you in any way, and to get more information about what I mean about being quiet, there's a song from Elevation Worship that is called Quiet. I want you to get that song either on iTunes or Spotify or wherever you get your music. Um, it's on all reputable things. And go into your closet with no one. Listen to that song. I like the strip version because it's quiet. There's two versions. There's quiet the regular version. And there's quiet the strip version. And it's by Elevation Rhythm, not Worship. Um, Elevation Rhythm is their youth uh, division. And just listen to that song. And write down what he's speaking to you. He said, in listening to that quiet song, he will speak to you. And the answers that you've been searching for, what college you go to, what university to go to, whether to date this guy or that guy, whether to keep those friends or that friends, he will give you those answers when you're meditating with that song. Just play it a few times and write down what you hear in your spirit. Get somewhere quiet, whether in your room or wherever. Away from your kids, away from your husband. Just take 15 minutes and write down what he's speaking in your spirit. And he will speak to you. He may ask you to turn to a scripture and speak to you through that. He may speak to you through friends. And some of the stuff that he's speaking to you will be easy to get rid of. And some of it will be hard. He'll be like, you know that girlfriend? Uh, you've been hanging around. You've been having fun. You've been Zooming. You've been whatever. She doesn't mean you any good. She's backstabbing you. You need to um, lovingly tell her that the friendship won't work. And you might be like, oh no, I'm not getting rid of that person. But beloved, he's he knows what people mean you good. And he knows what people are wrong for you. So listen to him. Beloved, it may be something like a job. You'd be like, oh, do I quit my job? Because you seriously want to quit your job. But he'll say, no, I need you to stay there for a while. So some of the stuff will be easy and some of the stuff will be hard. But it all, all will be for your good and for his purpose and, and glory. So the song again is called Quiet by Elevation Rhythm. You can get it anywhere. Um, you can get it on Spotify, you can get it on iTunes. It's available absolutely everywhere. You can even uh, video it on YouTube just to get somewhere quiet. And write down what he's telling you when you listen to that song. like. Uh, two or three times. Okay? Bye. And I personally find for this exercise, the strict version would be great. There are two versions. The um, regular version with the beat and the strip version with just the piano 
and the and the lady singing. It's a beautiful song. So listen to that song and write down what he tells you. This is only for if you feel the Lord speaking to you and you're not sure um, what to do next. The those were his instructions. Bye guys. Again, that's Quiet by Elevation Rhythm. Have a good day, guys. Bye. There's no way around me when you're singing over me. I just wanna be here with you. I'm lost in your mystery and found in. Nowhere I'd rather be when you say.
just want to be where you are Dwelling daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar Draw me near to where you are I want to be where you are Dwelling in your presence Sitting at your table Surrounded by your glory In your presence That's where I always want to be I just want to be with you So draw me nearer Nearer, blessed Lord To the cross Where thou hast died Draw me nearer Bleeding side Draw me nearer Nearer, blessed Lord To the cross Where thou hast died Draw me nearer died so draw me nearer nearer blessed Lord to thy precious bleeding side drawn to thee so drawn Just to be close to you Just to be close to you Just to be close to you Is my desire 
just to be close to you. I want to be close to you. Just to be close to you. It's my desire.